We are living in an age of simulation, not of reality. According to Baudrillard, uh, there are four successive phases of the image, or you might also hear three stages of simulacrum. So it's a bit kind of confusing. So the, the first order of the image is not simulacrum. So there's three stages of simulacrum. So you're, you're gonna hear it talked about in both ways, and I apologize for the confusion. So um, in the first order, uh, the image is the reflection of a basic reality. So as I said, this is just a primary order of the image. And then the subsequent stages of simulacrum, you know, uh, kind of get more and more distant from an original referent. And we're going to talk about each of these in turn. In early human history, if you saw something, it was real. It was a good copy, or at least it was trying to be a good copy. So we can see in the, the black and white uh, etching there, um, the camera obscura. And what it would do is using, using light, using physics, um, you would reproduce the same thing. It would be upside down because of how a camera obscura works. But it was trying to reflect what was really there. And we see this with some paintings as well, where they're, you know, obviously if you're using a brush, uh, you know, it's not going to be exact, exactly the same, but it tries. Uh, with this Zoom image of me, for example, it's trying to reflect who I actually am without a lot of other things kind of going on. It's trying to reflect who I am. You can see my braces. Uh, you can maybe see my gray hair. I don't know. It looks a little bit weird because the slides are of a virtual background, but it's trying to reflect actually me and like really me. In the second order, the image masks and perverts a basic reality, much like an imitation or a counterfeit copy of reality. This stage emerged in the early modern period um, in where a competition for the meaning of signs begins. Simulacra aim to restore an ideal image of nature. And in this way, the true originals underlie fake. So there is like an underlying reality, but it's still, it's, it's been changed. It's been, you know, modified in some way. So this gold image in the middle is the earliest known surviving heliographic engraving. And it's from 1825 and it's printed from a metal plate the plate was exposed under an ordinary engraving and copied by photographic means. So this was a step towards the first perm permanent photograph taken with a camera, and it represents something that was already there, even though the image itself that we see is quite different. And we can see with the two flanking paintings that these are, these are idealized things. Like there's, yes, there's humans, yes, there's lions, and those are realistic in a certain way, but we've seen, we see it romanticized. We see it um, idealized. And same with those flowers. Like I doubt every single flower in that vase was, was perfect when it was painted, but it was made to be perfect. We've, we've changed it up a little bit so that it's hard to say exactly what the original image was, even though there was some kind of original somewhere. And again, you know, using Zoom as an example, you know, you can use things like video filters that, that distort things and alter them. You know, I can be a cute little bunny. Um, I can be a shark, which is kind of cool. I could have a flower in my hair, a beret, you know, since we're talking about Jean Baudrillard and he's French, a beret makes sense to me. I need like a cigarello, although maybe, maybe the beret should be red. Yes, yes, it should be red and perhaps, you know, maybe some, some decoration or these kind of things. So, so in this way, we have a situation where, um, we have a bit of complexity because things are not quite real. They're not quite an, an, an accurate representation or not trying to be an accurate representation. And this affects, you know, how we see the world uh, and ourselves. And now for the third order of an image or the, the second stage of simulacrum where the image masks the absence of a basic reality. Here's where things start to get a little weird. The third order occurred in the industrial period and entailed that the image masks the absence of a basic reality, a sort of production of a copy that is equivalent to the original referent. Thus, the copy obliterates the original. 
mass production of copies or replicas of a single prototype, cars, planes, bridges, fridges, clothes, books, copies are more or less indistinguishable from the original. Reproduced things aren't counterfeits, they're just as real as their prototype, although we can still recognize the prototype. The final fourth order of simulacrum occurs when the image bears no relation to any reality whatsoever. It's its own pure simulacrum. The signs of the real are substituted for the real itself. Uh, this is the era of the model or code. Uh, computers, virtual reality, opinion polls, DNA, genetic engineering, cloning, uh, you know, uh, the situation where the news media make the news, uh, Nike sneakers are status symbols, you know, and Disneyland, like we, we talked about earlier. So this is the death of the real, the murder of the real. There are no more counterfeits or prototypes like in the previous stage, just simulations of reality, hyper reality. Information replaces the machine as the basic mode of production.